everybody. So in the trans icon series, we are adding in Danielle Hunter. She is a legendary pageant queen and showgirl, and I had to add her in. She is absolutely iconic and glamorous. The makeup and hair are both inspired by the same photo. Obviously, I'll show you how to do the makeup. The hair was super easy. It was honestly just curled all the way from the face, so definitely you can recreate this easily. I love how it turned out. Danielle, if you see this, thank you so much for being a light in our community and thank you so much for being an icon, inspiration, and legend. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Okay, so excuse my voice. I'm a little hoarse, a little sick. Um, I'm starting it with P. Louise base on the eyes. And I will be using the Star Wedding Palette today. Um, for the Star Wedding Palette, the colors in the crease, I'm going to be using Save the Date. Uh, that's this color here. And then um, I will be going ahead. Actually, I believe this color might be Committed. I went a bit darker here. Um, so either one you can use. Um, and then you just buff it out into the crease. Um, for the lid, I used Gold Blooded, and then on the inner portion of the lid, I used Wedding Rings, and the um, shimmer that's on the eye, I ended up using Jeffree Star's uh, Liquid Star Shadow, I believe it is called, and I used the color Bachelorette Party, and the inner portion of the eye, I used Favorite Frosting, which is definitely my favorite color of the liquid star shadows then i went into the color i do in the star wedding palette and i smoked out that outer portion of the eye really gave it some dimension and then blended it into the crease but kept the color focused on the outer portion of the crease um, i did use grand entrance on my brow bone as well too and continually applying that I do color to intensify that outer corner, cleaning it up with a makeup wipe. And then that is the Bachelorette Party color um, there. And Favorite Frosting is right on the inner corner. And you can see that beautiful shimmer. I always get compliments on this when I wear it. I absolutely love it. Then for eyeliner, I am using the e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. And we're just applying it to the lash line so that it blends in your layages. And then curling the layages, applying Benefit Their Real Magnetic Mascara, and then putting on your layages. Then for face, I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I am using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic concealer here. And I will be going ahead and blending that out. And then applying the uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. And that is applied all over the face. I uh, smear it with a brush all over. And then I go ahead and use... Um, a beauty blender or beauty sponge to blend it out to get rid of the brush strokes. The beauty sponge I use as well, I wanted to mention, is the um, Real Techniques one. I really like that one, but honestly, any of them do. Any of them will do. Then I'm applying the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the color Light. And I'm applying that to the perimeter of my face. If you're familiar with my tutorials, I don't do any like stark lines for the cheek contour or anything like that. Then I used the Made by Mitchell Peach Sugar Blush. This remains having the worst name of a product for me, but I love the product. It's that weird dichotomy, like, okay... But then I have the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the white color under my eyes. And then I use my skin color on the rest of my face. 
then I went ahead and I set the face with the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. I actually really recommend this to set all over the face. I love the finish that it gives. And then using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze, you can use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer for something that is basically the same thing. For eyebrows, um, I do use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Normally I would do those first, but I forgot. Um, for lips, I'm using the Crown Case, the Berry Lip Liner. They did not have names when I purchased them. Um, also the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter, I forgot to mention. Um, so I purchased these lip liners ages ago. I don't know if they're named now, but they weren't when I bought them. So it's just a berry lip liner. Um, then I use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Holy Fashion Velvet Trap Lipstick. And the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Please Forgive Me Supreme Gloss. I did touch up the under eye, um... And then applied the Made by Mitchell in the Nude All Smudge No Budge Eyeliner. But I like to make sure that the um, there's depth on the outer corner for this look. Danielle had some smoky under eyes. For hair, it's curled with a wide barrel, but it's curled with the um, wrapping around it technique. Not like that, not the clamp. But yeah. And then, um, like the wand curl, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!